Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to Samurai Jack Season 5, Episode 6, uh, XCVII, or XC7. Uh, okay, so um, I haven't watched this episode yet, uh, it just came out. Uh, so uh, this episode, I feel, because like in the last episode, there was a like Ashi kind of like going into the light of good, and uh, she's kind of like following in Samurai Jack's path. So I think this, sorry, I think this episode is definitely going to be more centric towards her and in that she's finding Jack and all that like traveling through and finding Jack uh, so I'm gonna definitely think she's gonna learn some stuff as well like and gonna meet them like a lot of conflict there's like she's trying to find Jack and then people are like hey are you like that that bounty hunter girl like and then you know gonna be like conflict because like they definitely know like because like it's gonna be like her black shirt and everything so that's gonna be like the major conflicts in this I think and also maybe more because like I think she's gonna have to prove to them that she's good or something along those lines of that and anyway so uh, yeah let's get into this one let's go yep So I'm wondering if um, I'm wondering if the Scotsman's daughters are going to be in play in this episode because they were in the last episode as well. Uh, Samurai Jack. I like the title music. It's quite epic. Yeah, so I, I watched the promo for this uh, episode actually, so if you guys want me to watch uh, more promos in the future, just let me know in the comments below. Oh, we haven't seen uh, these like arrow, arrow stuff, like, okay, this isn't really an aeroplane, but this is more of a blimp. And we've, we haven't seen uh, like these type of like flight stuff yet, like this is the first time. Yeah, and uh, that was in the promo as well, actually. And a lot of people uh, predicted that these are the woolly, but I'm not sure. There's definitely the the sound of the woolies. <laughs> you are his friend. Oh, uh, okay. It is the woolies. Okay, is this gonna be like kind of like um, a callback to the old episodes? I really love, I really love this, and uh, it still looks like the old animation, by the way, because like even though this is a callback to the episodes and it's more modernized, it still looks like the old episodes, and that's very interesting for me. Oh, yep, <laughs> right, yep. <laughs> Yep, and I remember uh, that was like more of the enlightening uh, episode because like they the 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 the, the, ma the major or the patriarch of the woolies like kind of gave him the path to go back in time like warp in time, but uh, he couldn't he couldn't do it because like he oh, he of course like found like a lot of st uh, a lot of hurdles through uh, his journey. <laughs> She's just a fucking badass. Sorry, I just ate. Sorry. Oh, this douche. <laughs> oh, this guy. Tom Caddy is just like having the time of his life, isn't it? Ah, uh, they 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 missed the they missed the pun opportunity there. They they could have said, "I'm heading down." Huh? Okay. So 
Someone hunting uh, scarabs? Is this the archers? Oh, it is. It is. Wow. These are the blind archers, by the way. Uh, I remember that episode, like, cause Jack had to uh, blindfold his uh, eyes. I remember that. Oh, that was such a good episode. That was the episode for me where I was like, oh my god, Samurai Jack is more than the guy who, like, wields a sword and, like, can defeat everyone. He can also use his other senses into his play. And I think one of the best showcases of that was not even this one. It was, like, um the dark uh the dark ninja against him which is the white like light ninja so that was really cool yeah this was just fucking badass oh i i remember the scene look at that man he just ducks okay he just ducks it's fucking crazy yeah he destroyed it right Yep. He's so fucking cool. I'm really impressed by the statue, by the way. I, I know I haven't said anything about the statue. But wow. Kind of a, kind of a weird touch there, cause it like held her neck. It was like I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. But you know, it's just, it's just weird. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why this is like it's so hilarious for me. I'm just laughing my ass out here. <laughs> I finally made it. It's just like that annoying douche <laughs> singing while. He's well, he's rolling down the hill, what the f- <laughs> Oh. That's a big man. No body, no entry. <laughs> he's trying to have possessions. <laughs> Death blow? The bomb? <laughs> He's number three. That's cool. Well, you know, you're still top three. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> sure. He he knows. He he's not that dumb. Come on. See? <laughs> Wait, that wasn't there before. <laughs> oh, who you got a buddy? <laughs> But why is his hands like human hands though? That just means it's a guy underneath there. <laughs> it is! Oh my god. Okay. That's like the neck bone, right? <laughs> That's weird. Oh come on, bro! I I didn't I didn't want to bring it there. Okay, I was like, okay, that looks kind of phallic, but I don't want to bring it there. You brought it there. <laughs> Fuck, man. And I guess that's the perks of being on Adult Swim, cause you can do those kind of jokes now, like more adult jokes. <laughs> so that's more of a perk. Okay, this is a pretty good beat. 
dun, 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 dun. And this guy is just doing the side hand dance. Yo, what up? This? Like, like that? What, what? Am I, am I doing it right? No? Yes? Maybe so? Yeah, okay. What, what, what is that? Superman? <laughs> yeah. These were the guys that he said, by the way, the rave guys. I remember the, uh, part where, uh, Aku is like, the DJ. I remember that. She has a good voice. Wow. I was, an ex I was not expecting that, by the way. Okay, this is kind of like a, like a remix, uh, electric synthesized uh, voice there. Oh, okay. Uh, another benefit of being on Adult Swim there, by the way, because like she said hell, uh, we would have never heard that on Cartoon Network. So I guess Gandhi is just like enjoying his time with Adult Swim. Nice. <laughs> she just joined. <laughs> That's really awesome, man. Samurai. Oh, this, is, this song is pretty catchy. This is having tons of fun. <laughs> well, how how is she finding these people, by the way? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times you're forgetting to take out the the, the commercial there, but uh, back to the show. <laughs> oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Reflections. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know what trouble you're trying to get me in, Adult Swim, but uh, <laughs> I am not okay. I'm not okay with that. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> we just got that. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Going a little bit too far there, just a tiny bit. But can she get the black out of her? Man, that's sick though. So that means like it isn't a costume as I thought it was. Oh. Uh. Well. Well. Again, I don't know how old is she. So you know. Oh. Uh, okay. That that makes it much better, I guess. And I guess it wouldn't be much of an anime if we didn't really have like a naked girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she looks a bit like Tinkerbell, to be honest with you guys. To be honest with you guys. Vietnam flashbacks of Pan. Fuck that movie. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, you deserve that though. Oof, adult swim, I just can't get over the fact that we just had that, like, a little girl being stripped off of her, like, like, uh, towel, and she's like, trying to cover up, but, you know, there's still, uh, like, some lines, you know, and, um, and, uh, then she was, like, jumping into the water, oh, uh, <laughs> He's like, uh, whatever. Yeah, I I hardly can't hear you, bro. Come on. Wait, uh, wait, wait. I thought there wasn't uh, there wasn't dogs allowed though, and that dog right there, the dog, the the brown, the gray dog, by the way, looks a lot like the Jetsons dog.
said it faster. Just see, you pissed them off. <laughs> Forget it. Clicks. <laughs> it's a samurai. Dead. Okay, you are electronic. Okay, you should be dead. There's no way in hell. There is no way in hell, okay? Even with cartoon liberties, man. Are we gonna... Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, like, are, are, are we gonna see the, uh, the old samurai guy who pretended to be a samurai? Leaf girl. <laughs> Speak up. Uh, the little bratty voice is still in there. Tara Strong. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, actually. Because <laughs> she's only one girl. Nah, I don't really care. She's skilled though, so... Okay. What? <laughs> oh, is that a Popeye reference? <laughs> sudden Popeye reference is sudden. Right, yep. Duh, Samurai! Duh, Samurai! Oh, I love this jab, man. Oh! Really? <laughs> I like the 70s text there. This is like the 80s text. Well, you kind of wanted to follow him, right? <laughs> There's a spotlight on him. <laughs> it doesn't. Weird electric city wires being tangled. No, not this douche. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, this guy. This douchebag. I remember. He was pretty powerful, actually. I, I was I was about to say like I don't I don't think you came to the right place. <laughs> uh, it sounds a bit like Gray. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't trust her. I I I I wouldn't I wouldn't trust like strangers coming up to me and sounding like Grave Griffin and tell me to go that way, but she she I guess she has no choice. So, uh oh I love that by the way I love the natural bridge, like the stones in the water that you can cross in. I love that. That's really cool. I love nature. That's the thing. And I love seeing the steps of stones. The pebbles. Oh. Um, this is very uh, Buddhist, by the way. You can tell by the structures and everything. Like, the the curvatures outwards is the, uh, like, pagoda-esque uh, tombstone, so... That's the guy who was on the horse. Now we're gonna find out who he is, right? Wait, witness what? What? The end? Is he gonna do seppuku? Is he gonna kill himself? Like that's what they call it in J Japan, like seppuku. No. 
he didn't. Come on, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't fail his purpose. Okay, his purpose is still continuing. They're just watching in anticipation, aren't they? Oh. I I mean at least let her talk. Yeah, she she's right though. Man, I don't know if it's a bad spirit or like just a stoic like spirit cause like this is like this is crazy That's true. She's really agile, by the way. Oh, wow. Oof. They didn't die. They didn't die, bro. Yeah, they were just unconscious, okay? That's what happens when you put, like, electronic stuff in the nets. Oh. He saved her. Are they going to do anything? Oh, not today. <laughs> oh, that was freaky. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you can see the cogs moving in his head. To shave. <laughs> ah, man, I was expecting to say uh, time to shave. It would actually have fitted though. Like it's time to shave. Uh, you could, you could see his like wheels and his head turn. Like, should I mention the dress? Uh, I, I guess I should. And then he mentioned his head, like, and he's like, so she was just naked with the like, soot on her the whole time. And I'm just like, yeah, Jack, you're, uh, you're lucky you weren't there to see it, okay? It was like, uncomfortable for me, because I'm like, wait, wait, adult swim, what are you trying to do, okay? Like, first we had the naked little girl, okay? And then, I don't know how many years it is, so it's like, how old is she? You know, she could be 15 or like 16 or like 17, that's underage, okay, or 18. But we will never know, okay? So yeah, guys, it was fun. <laughs> okay, okay. That was a really good episode, by the way. Um, I love the callbacks to the old episodes. Um, I love that she learns it. I was actually expecting more in conflict. Uh, maybe, you know, the good guys are like, Hmm, but you wear the color of a coup. You know, you're dark. Um, are you really good? And then she has to prove it to, her, uh, to him, themselves and herself. But uh, I guess this way is kind of not dragging it out as well. And uh, just showing people like, Okay, I'm on your side as well. Like, and like, and she learns about his good deeds throughout the land which is really cool for me because it's like bringing back towards the old 
uh, the old Samurai Jack as well. So uh, that was a really good episode and I hope you liked it too. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye.